So I get to do my annual <laughs> uh, water wheel drive uh, right now, my 50 mile water wheel drive. And I thought I'd make this video for all of you guys that are my followers on my new channel. Thank you guys uh, for doing that. Um, I have not posted an actual tutorial video, which is how, why I started this channel in the first place. Um, in a really long time more dessert was the last one that i did and that was because i really felt that a lot of different people uh they just kept asking me for it and so i eventually found time uh to do it but um i was supposed to so the, the when i started this channel i started this thing called line dancing monday which was I, where, when i was going to post a tutorial and so at the start of my channel i was posting like two two videos like at a time uh, because I felt like I had a lot to catch up on uh, because I was redoing all my old videos. And so I wanted to post like a club standard dance and then some current dance that was currently being taught at the ranch. And then I just kind of stopped. I did that for a really long time and then I just kind of stopped. And I, I think you guys, I, I should explain like the full reason. I've hinted it at videos, but I just thought I'd make a, like a complete full video of why uh, right now. Um, so when I first started my channel, uh, Future Sex Love channel, all the way back when, when I first started line dancing, uh, I had no social life, which is why I started line dancing in the first place. That basically translates to I had infinite time to do literally anything. I had a job and one job and that I would, you know, I'd go in uh, for fours of hours at a time and then I would go home and have the rest of the day for me. That was assuming that I worked. Uh, sometimes I wouldn't work and then I would just have a full day to myself. Um, when I first started, uh, everybody around me did not know dances. Uh, they didn't know anything. And uh, so I was going with my friends and I was doing uh, videos for them, basically. Or I was doing videos so that I would remember as a person. Um, eventually, that translated into me uh, knowing what's it called... Uh, obtaining more and more subscribers and followers and whatnot and having different people at different points of my dance career message me or talk to me in person or comment and say hey you should teach this dance because I don't know this dance and I just felt like the savior and I was just like oh yeah of course like I'll totally make a video right now fast forward all the way up six years later to where I am now at, my, at this current position in my life let me take you through a typical week uh, so it's safe to assume that Monday through Sunday, I'll have like two days off. But for the most part, I will work at my day job because I do have a day job from 11.45 to like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. It's not a long shift, but it's there. Um, I don't wake up earlier than that. Um, I don't, you know, like at the latest that I could possibly wake up and leave for work, that's when I do it. Um, and that's when I wake up and that's when I go to work. But let's just say I work every day because uh, essentially uh, next week I only have one day off I have Sunday off um, so I theoretically I could I could work all the time um, so that's my you know like my Monday through Sunday just right off the bat Tuesday I currently have a job at Waterwheel uh, from 7 to 9 which doesn't seem like a long time um, and it's not but it does take me 50 miles to get uh, 50 miles to get there which comes down to somewhere in the area of an hour and a half or two hours, which is the drive I'm on now, which is why I'm doing this video. Um, so Tuesday I have that. Wednesday I normally have Mavericks, which again is the same hour and a half, two hour drive. So I usually leave it right now. It's four o'clock. I'll probably get there at 5.30 or 6. I'll have time to set up. Then I'll do a class from seven to nine. Assuming that I leave exactly at nine, I will then have the same hour and a half or two hour drive to get home um, because I live 50 miles away. And that's assuming that I don't go to see my girlfriend um, because I also have a girlfriend. Um, or if I don't hang out with Alex because I also have a best friend. <laughs> um, assuming that I do uh, hang out with them, either of them, I will then not get home until four. Uh, we will probably do something that, uh, you know, starts at 10 o'clock because I get out at 9. By the time we get to anywhere cool, we'll, it'll be like 10. Um, we'll stay there for, till like 1.30 or whenever it closes. 
and then we'll talk because we haven't talked all week and then that will rinse and repeat uh, Wednesday because that's Tuesday as well as Wednesday. Um, and then I'll just be exhausted the next day and but I'll do it again. Thursday is for the most part ranch day. Uh, so I'll have work in the morning and then I'll have uh, I'll go to the ranch because that's the first point normally that my girlfriend Jackie will have danced even though I will have danced Tuesday and Wednesday up until this point. Then I'll go out Thursday. Um, at which point, sometimes she stays over at my house on, and that'll roll into a Friday of where we get to do stuff with each other. Um, but, and so usually that will happen. So we'll go to there on Thursday, we'll go to the ranch on Thursday, and then Friday I'll have a morning shift and then I'll do stuff with, with Jackie. Um, and then Saturday she works uh, because I, uh, again, that's, I, I don't, I, I very seldom we get to see her. And so that, which is why I always try to see her at the end of like a long day of, of doing things. Um, because she works for the most part from like 12 to eight, um, like every day. And so she's usually exhausted, uh, by the time we finally get to see each other. And so we end up just like sleeping like all day. Um, and this is assuming that Alex hasn't called me to go do something as well. Um, or if I'm not doing anything else with any of my other friends. Uh, so this, this is now Saturday. Uh, Sunday will come along and I'll have work in the morning or I won't. And I'll just be exhausted. Uh, and I'll be dying. And that is literally the only point when I can actually make a video. But on Sunday, of course, I have my Sunday class, which is where I would do my video. Um, I would try to get there early. But for the last couple of weeks, either one, I haven't been able to because I've just been exhausted, or two, I will be hanging out with either of them, at which point I can't do a video, um, at which point I'll, I'll think to myself, oh, I'll just do a video afterwards. But we inevitably go to Chili's after my class because we're all hungry and we all want to hang out because we haven't seen each other all week, kind of. And and at which point I won't want to go back to the studio because we'll leave Chili's at like three o'clock um, because we'll eat and then talk and then I won't be able to do a video. So time-wise, that's why I never do videos. The other side to that is that when I started doing videos, everybody around me didn't know how to do dances. Uh, they were like, how do you do after party? How do you do country girl shake? And so. I was like, oh my God, why don't you guys know this? Let me do this amazing video and then you'll all know it and then you'll dance it with me. Currently, in my post six year, uh, you know, invest, investing in this and creating and obtaining new friends, all of my friends are basically now more advanced than I am. They're learning other things. They're learning circuit dances. They're learning advanced dances. They're learn. they're, picking up dances that are um, off of the internet and then learning them. And then after that, learning something else. And then after learning that, learning something else. Um, essentially, I have eight of me. Um, eight people that do the exact same thing that I do. And so like right now, I, I feel so far behind everybody that the dances that I know I feel like everybody already knows anyway. Uh, like, get ugly. Um, I feel like most of the people at the ranch already know that. Most of the people at Cowboy Country have known that before I knew it. Um, and now, now that it's being taught, everybody knows it already. So it's like, as much as I want to do a get ugly video, I just, I don't know if I want to do a get ugly video because if everybody knows it already. I, I mean, obviously I know that there are some people out there that don't know it, but I mean like, it's not to the extent of what it was when I first started, where I felt like a real need to do a video because nobody knew this dance or whatever it was. So that would be that side of that. And the third side of that, which is the final side because this video is going on for way too long, um, is the idea that I'm not just a guy anymore. I used to hide behind the, the idea that you know, like I'm doing these videos and I'm gonna do them non-step sheet or I'm gonna do them with variations or whatever. Um, and I'm just a guy and I'm just trying to have people like, you know, 
encourage people to try and dance on the floor, um, even if they don't completely know a step sheet version of the dance. Now I'm kind of a guy. Now I'm kind of, you know, like I'm kind of a thing. A lot of the choreographers that have created dances that are being done at bars now, I have them as friends on my Facebook. So, for instance, uh, Get Ugly has this very subtle la 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 move um, in it where you're doing a full turn spin on a 7 8, but it's not on a 7 8. It's actually a 7 ah and, and then you land on an 8. So for two hidden beats of music, you're actually in the air and then you land on an eight, but there's a subtlety that you lag it a little bit longer than you normally would. If I didn't talk about that in my video, uh, Jonna would get angry at me. Uh, I know, or maybe he would, I don't know if he would. Uh, Carrie definitely would, she'd make fun of me. Um, and that's, that's who I am now. That's, that's, what, that's what it is now. Uh, now I'm a teacher and now I'm a choreographer and now I'm, I, now I'm a guy, now I'm, now I'm a person. And um, that doesn't fly anymore. And, uh, and I get that it shouldn't and that as a choreographer teacher, I should pay attention to things like that. Uh, but I also always come from the like, direct experience of being a dancer and being a dancer at a bar and where, where we don't necessarily always care about a subtle thing like that. Like if we can kind of do the dance, it's fine to us. Um, and now I'm, you know, I'm not trying to say that like it's okay because it's not. Um, but it, there, there's a part of me that, like, it just takes the fun out of making videos. Uh, and it's just like, I have to explain this thing that is so subtle. That is just, I don't know, it's weird. Or maybe I'll, like, like, um, like having a different count. Like, it, it's not on an eight and, it's on an and eight. Um, or, you know, like a... Or it's not on a, you know, like, this, this move is not on a... Uh, one, two, and three. It's on a one, uh, one and two and three, um, because you know, like, of some other subtlety. And and I would get like, I would get docked off points for that. Somebody would make a comment, and somebody who hasn't even made a video of this dance will make a comment that it's not right and that I should reteach it or something. And it, it just, I don't know. It just, it takes out the fun in like making a video just to help people. And it's not going to the extent of like where I'm doing the dance wrong, but it's just not 100% and it's at like 98%. You know, it's like one of those. That, that's like my most undefendable uh, positions on this whole thing but um, it's one of the things it's a thing it is a thing so I apologize for not making videos I have no idea when I'm gonna make another video um, because I definitely want to make a video to my own dance uh, I can't stop to the song closer uh, by chain smokers but I also want to make things like get ugly and sugar honey IT and blue jeans on and infinite amounts of other dances that have come out uh, American Country Love Song, uh, American Summer, like, there are just so many things, there's all the things, uh, Make It Shake, um, Funk and Feel It, it just, there's just so many things, man, and I'm, I apologize for not making a video, and I'm not sure when I'm going to do one, but... I hope that at some point maybe you can go to my class at Happy Dance Fitness where I actually do teach stuff um, or meet me at Waterwheel or Mavericks or literally one of the other infinite country bars that I'll go to like the ranch on a Thursday or Cowboy Country on a Friday um, and meet me there and I can like teach you in that kind of sense um, because making videos has just become incredibly difficult in my current state of life. Um, 
time, energy, drive, everything is difficult. Uh, which is why I started to just post demo videos of cool dances that we do um, at my class or just that we do somewhere. Um, and hopefully that'll hold you over until I can make a video. I can find time, I can find, I can say no to people. I don't wanna hang out with you right now. <laughs> um, but until that happens, I don't know when I'm gonna make another video. Um, and I just wanted to apologize and hope that you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um, and I hope I, I will soon though, um, but I will, um, until then I will see you guys soon.